everyone, have you heard of that DxO Mark has scored Huawei P20 Pro at 109, which is the highest score for camera phones, which also means it took the top spot from Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus. However, it's an overall score because there are different types of shooting scenes, for example, landscape, night views, and portrait photos. So if you conclude the best camera by only the EXO mark, you are all wet. So today, let's test them from 10 different shooting scenes. Number 1. Night View Test Let's kick off with night shooting that we most want to know. According to these two pictures of office buildings, it has to be said that both phones have very powerful night shooting capabilities, and it seems almost impossible to distinguish between them. But when we have a closer look to the sky and the highlight part of the building, the first thing I notice is the P20 photo really does stand out more. S9 Plus, however, makes it look a lot brighter at the lighting part. Next, let's have a look at portrait shooting at night. We can see S9 Plus did a better job with more reasonable light exposure on the model than P20 at almost all black. Besides, the building behind the girl in P20 photo looks a little bit creepy with those red lumps, although P20 makes a better light exposure on the buildings. So, I think Samson S9 Plus made a comeback for portrait shooting at night. How about we turn on the flashlight? Still, S9 Plus works better. Although it's a little bit yellow, the light exposure on the model is more nature and has rich details on the building's shadow unlike the P20, which looks all dead black. Last one is half-length photo. P20 now is better than all black, but apparently still under exposure on the face. Portrait shot in a terrible light condition. P20 Pro has a better background blur effects. Overall, although Huawei P20 Pro has a powerful super night shooting mode, but in the night view, it is slightly inferior to the Samson S9 Plus. Number two, front camera portrait selfie test. After turned on the front cameras, let's have a look at how video quality compare. As you can see, both of them are pretty good. Zoom into the skin detail. We can see P20 done a lot of beauty work, which makes the skin far too smooth and soft, while S9 Plus is closer to the real color and sharper facial feature. Let's turn to shoot against the light, and there is not really much in it here. They both handle light exposure very well. Compared to selfie photos, I make sure both beauty mode is off, and we can see P20 has weakened the beauty effects in the video, which is more nature and real. S9 Plus, as usual, being nature and real color of the skin. If we zoom in, you can also see the difference between them. P20 is still smooth the skin a little bit, while you can see some pores with S9 Plus photo. Next, let's have a look at beauty mode that ladies care more about. P20 Pro makes the skin very bright, smooth, and soft, while S9 Plus also done some smooth and soft to the skin, but keep it more nature and real color, as well as blurring the background. A closer look at the silhouette of the face reveals that the S9 Plus has a certain face slim effect. I think some web beauty will like it. Number 3. Rear Camera Portrait Test Now. Let's compare the rear camera portrait photos. Turn to the rear camera mode. P20 Pro makes the background blur, which looks like a professional SLR shot with large aperture. In the other hand, Samson S9 Plus can only shoot by the two times optical zoom telephoto lenses. Therefore, we can see the Samson S9 Plus displayed narrower than P20 Pro with the same scene, and less obvious for the background blurring. But it's still quite natural. However, we can see that the fingers blurred here indicate that the background blurring range algorithm of S9 Plus is not very accurate, and that of P20 Pro has no such problem. Number 4. Landscape Shot Test Still off the beauty mode, here are two pictures of buildings in the distance. Overall, there is no big difference between two pictures, but if we zoom in to see the detail of farthest building, Samson S9 Plus photo contains a stronger sharpness than Huawei P20 Pro. Let's take a closer look at the noise control in the dark areas. Huawei P20 Pro will be better. Number 5 Flower Photo Test 
Let's test a flower photo with rich colors. We can see that Huawei P20 Pro has a higher saturation of color and stronger contrast of bright and dark areas. Samson S9 Plus has a more eye-catching color and a more natural saturation and contrast. Zooming in and looking at the details reveal that the sharpness of that Huawei P20 Pro is slightly better and the details are clearer. Number 6. Macro Shot Test Let's compare the photos of an insect this time. From the overall perspective, the color and sharpness of the Samson S9 Plus photo is more appealing. To further verify that, we zoom in to see the details. Let's take a look at the wings here. It is quite obvious that the Samson S9 Plus photo has a better color and clarity. Moving to the head, the answer is clear. I can only say that Samson S9 Plus has a big advantage on macro shots. Number 7. Still Photo Test Take a picture of a monkey doll back to the windows. Aside from a different color temperature of two phones, P20 Pro Photo is warmer, while Samson S9 Plus is colder. There is no big difference between two phones when we zoomed into details, including the monkey's hair texture, background blurring, and the sharpness of the edge. Number 8. Autofocus Speed Test Now let's test how fast the two phones autofocus speed. Firstly, look at the video shot by Huawei P20 Pro. We can see it slightly appears a little pause, but the speed is still relatively fast. Now change to Samson S9 Plus. It's very fast and there is no pause or any stuck. Number 9. Slow Motion Test As for slow motion, here means 240 FPS slow motion. Both two phones support 240 FPS slow motion, but there are differences between them. Huawei P20 Pro only supports 720p resolution, but Samson S9 Plus can support 1080p HD resolution instead. So from this point, P20 Pro is not as powerful as S9 Plus. Play to see some details. The movement of the model and her hair are comparable, when S9 Plus has a little bit under exposure, but it can be made up for after coloring by software. Another thing is that under the 240 FPS slow motion condition, S9 Plus captures a wider range of images than P20 Pro. Besides, both phones shoot 960 FPS super slow motion with 40 times slower than normal speed. Quality-wise, P20 Pro has unsharpness even in good light, so it's not a real 960 FPS as we can consider. But I do think S9 Plus looks a little bit sharper and more detailed from the walnut and water splash. So, Samson S9 Plus won the super slow motion test. Number 10. Image Quality Test Here is one more example of video shooting buildings and sky on the terrace. Again, both in 4K, and P20 Pro did some changes on the sky color, which makes it very blue. Although we know it's fake, still blue sky and white cloud perfect fit. But it seems like only works on large image of sky, because it's back to normal color when we move down. So what do you think from this test? Which one do you think is the best option? For me, um, obviously it's very subjective. I suggest P20 Pro is for those who like to take portrait photos and night views, which by the way, S9 Plus comes out when you take portrait photos at night. If you are obsessed with slow motion like me, I think S9 Plus is definitely the winner. So I hope you find it useful if you click like and subscribe button below and comment your other opinions. Thank you very much for watching guys. I will see you next time right here on Filmora MVP.